Welcome to the Engineering Update. I'm WDD's Editor-in-Chief, Janine Mooney, and in this week's episode, controlling a robotic arm with your thoughts, the Navy's shark drone, and a life-saving car-to-cyclist communication system. You might remember a few years ago when scientists discovered that by inserting an implant in the brain of a quadriplegic woman, she was able to control a robot arm with just her thoughts. By implanting 96 contact points on the part of the brain that would control the right hand and arm of Jan Sherman, the team at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine found that each contact point could pick up signals from an individual neuron. A computer was able to identify the patterns in which the neurons fired and associate those patterns with particular movements, like raising or lowering the arm. This information was then relayed to a prosthetic arm created by Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory. Within a week of the surgery, done in February of 2012, the patient was able to reach in and out, left and right, and eventually reach up to seven degrees brain control, including gripping objects. More recently, in 2014, the team attempted to allow for 10 degree brain control, which includes pinching the fingers and thumb opposition. The team was able to calibrate the device by having Jan watch animations of the movements, while her brain activity was recorded by researchers. They found she was able to grasp small and large boxes, a ball, a rock, and tubes of different sizes. Though the electrode arrays were removed in October, the success of the 10 degree of brain control could mean big things for the future. It moves gracefully through the ocean, all five feet and 100 pounds of fully realized terror beneath the waves, slithering along at depths ranging from 10 inches to 300 feet and resembling the prehistoric carnivorous predators modeled after. It moves purposefully in search of its prey, scaring the bejesus out of anyone unlucky enough to cross paths with this horrifying beast. It is the Navy's Ghost Swimmer. The U.S. Navy's ghost swimmers, for lack of a better term, a shark drone, an unmanned underwater contraption with dorsal and pectoral fins attached that help complete the look while it moves just like its organic cousin by methodically working its tail. Developed as part of the NEMO project, which will investigate the uses for biometric unmanned underwater vehicles in the fleet, the ghost swimmer can operate semi-autonomously but also via laptop with a 500-foot tether. Boston Engineering developed the tuna sized device and it's supposedly quieter than propeller-driven craft of the same size. Possible applications include low visibility intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions, identification of friend and foe, and even as a remote controlled torpedo. It could also replace marine wildlife used to recover equipment and ID underwater mines. Volvo is working with the Swedish helmet manufacturer POC and Ericsson to develop a car to cyclist safety system. The technology consists of a connected car and helmet prototype that will establish two-way communication offering proximity alerts to Volvo car drivers and cyclists and thereby avoiding accidents. Cyclists must be carrying a smartphone running an app such as Strava, which tracks their location in real time. That information is then sent to a cloud-based program, as are the locations of all cars that are part of the system. If the software detects that a cyclist and a car are on a collision course, it will be sent a proximity alert to both of them. The cyclist will be notified by a helmet-mounted warning light visible in their peripheral vision, while the driver will be alerted via their vehicle's heads-up display. Both parties can then take action. The innovative cloud-based safety concept has exciting development opportunities and will ultimately help save lives across the whole spectrum of unprotected road users. There's no word on whether or not a system-specific helmet must be used, although more information will be provided when the technology is presented next month at CES. That's all for this week's video. Be sure to check in on Facebook and Twitter and catch past episodes on ECNMag.com. For the ECN channel, I'm Janine Mooney and thanks for watching.